there, I'm Mali Cecere and welcome to the Earth from Space program on the European Space Agency Web TV. The Sentinel-2A satellite takes us to the diverse landscape of the eastern Atacama Desert in South America. The region pictured lies around 200 kilometers east of the Chilean city of Antofagasta on the Pacific coast, not pictured, and is virtually devoid of vegetation. At the top of the image, we can see part of Chile's largest salt flat, the Salar de Atacama. With an average elevation of some 2,300 meters above sea level, it is formed by waters flowing down from the Andes, which, having no drainage outlets, are forced to evaporate, leaving salt deposits. It is the world's largest and purest active source of lithium containing some 30% of the world's lithium reserve base and providing almost 30% of the world's lithium carbonate supply. The bright turquoise rectangles and squares visible along the top part of the image are evaporation ponds. Subsurface salt brines are pumped from beneath the saline crust in two different areas. In one of them, extracted salt brines have unrivaled concentration levels of potassium and lithium. In the other, the brines obtained contain high concentrations of sulfate and boron. In the lower right part of the image, we can see the Socompa stratovolcano, known for its debris avalanche deposit, where the land collapsed on its western rim some 7,000 years ago. The area has since been partially filled by lava, and we can see the dark lava flows around the volcano. The multispectral instrument on Sentinel-2 uses parts of the infrared spectrum to analyze mineral composition where vegetation is sporadic. In this false color image, the intense shades of brown and orange come from the use of an infrared part of the spectrum, leading to an exaggeration of color intensity. This image was captured by Sentinel-2A on March 8. The satellite is the first in the twin satellite Sentinel-2 mission for Europe's Copernicus program and carries a wide swath high-resolution multispectral imager with 13 spectral bands for a new angle on our land and vegetation. And that brings us to the end of this edition of Earth from Space. Remember that we broadcast online every Friday at 10 o'clock Central European Summer Time. Watch us on our website at www.esa.int. From the ESA Web TV Studios, I'm Mali Chechere and have a very nice day.